We are racing the clock to get ready and we're gonna see how fast I can do this. I'm going to a taping of The Daily Show to support Cal Penn. He is guest hosting tonight. I have probably 10 minutes max for this. So we're gonna see what look comes out of this. And I'm not gonna talk because I don't have those skills, you guys. I don't, so let's go. Hi everyone, I'm Nina Davalori and welcome to The Complexion Diaries. I realized as I started doing this look, I'm like, this is actually my timeless makeup look. Like, this is truly, it's one of those flawless, timeless looks that will stand the test of any makeup trend because makeup like fashion is always trending, but there are certain things in makeup world that will last and stay forever. And this look is that look. And if you guys wanna get that look, you have to keep watching because for those of you who don't know, I actually had a makeup lesson with Makeup by Mario. Yes, the Makeup by Mario um, 10 years ago. So when I was competing for Miss America, we actually had to do all of our makeup by ourselves. And so I wanted to find someone who could give me a makeup lesson. And this was Makeup by Mario before he was Makeup by Mario. He had just done Kim Kardashian's first wedding, which is crazy to Chris Humphreys. Do we remember that era? Um, in 2013. And that was the year I had worked with him. And so I had contacted him and he had said he actually started in pageants and so he was willing to do a lesson with me and I had worked with him. But you can see the contour technique I'm doing here is exactly what I learned from him. I do my makeup the exact same way with all of his techniques because he is amazing and he is truly like one of the iconic artists of our generation. He is like the first person that showed me blending undertones, truly understanding what my skin color was, how to work with shadows and contour and light and dark. Like he is just the master at that. And he actually told me to use a powder for contour, especially for my nose contour, which, you know, I've kind of upped my game a little and I've learned how to work with creams a little more. And like now I know how to take the techniques he taught me and apply it in other ways. But literally this is everything he taught me, especially in terms of placement, and even choosing what color of shade of contour. I'm linking all of the products I'm using in the description box. So much of his technique is really about blending. And so Beauty Blender is just like my go-to ride or die. And the other trick here, you can see that I'm not really baking here. I'm actually just taking the wet sponge and pushing in the setting powder because that's gonna make sure that it actually like melts into your skin and really creates that flawless sort of finish. After you do the cream contour, I'm putting on my powder contour to make sure it sets after. Um, but as I'm doing this look, I realize that this is just the easiest timeless look that I have perfected over the years. You, you could wear this in the daytime and at nighttime, and that is what timeless means to me. Makeup always is trending, like there's different trends in makeup, just like fashion, you know, and I think we always see those trends. And actually, Mary and I talked so much about makeup trends, and I was like, I want timeless iconic looks. And so that's kind of what we even learned when I was with him was just sort of those techniques that I know are just gonna stand the true test of time. So for me personally, I always do a wing liner. You guys know that, you know, something, I just love doing a wing liner on myself and I think it it's, it's kind of turned into like the really easy uh, way to sort of elevate a look. It's really nice to do that little liner because it extends your eye and once you put the mascara, it actually softens the harsh line and so it all just blends really nicely, but it does look, you know, like you're done up, you're put together, um, that you put some effort in, but it's not all about this makeup. You're not doing like a full eyeshadow and full liner, it's just, one accent. I like to think of it as an accessory. It's like a little accessory for you. So now I'm playing with my hair because I was like, hmm, what should I do with this? I don't have a lot of time. And you know what? Again, this is just an easy half up, half down. You're never going to go wrong with. This is always my go-to. Like, I don't care what year it is. You can always do a half up, half down hairstyle. Um, and it, you just know that it's going to be timeless and classic. Um, I feel like 90s is kind of a little more back now. Um, so I, of course, I left the little piece of my hair in front. But, you know, there were times where you would just put all of it back and that was the trend. Or, you know, you take like a middle part or a side part, like half up, half down. It will blend for everyone. This is the finished look. You got to pop on that red lip because that is the most timeless thing I can think of in makeup is that classic red lip, black wing, simple, classy, glowy skin. This is the final look. What do we think? Do you think this was timeless? Like I said, it stands the test of time. It's super easy. It just looks great 
on everyone. So let me know if you try this technique and what we think. Yes, I made it to the Daily Show and that was great. Thanks so much for watching.